Approaching the concept of promenade architecturale, or architectural walk, the esteemed path leading to the interior of the canal house seems to reaffirm the design strategy first used in the Villa Savoy, designed by Le Corbusier in 1928. Meandering through the space from a winding ramp that invites three-dimensional walking in a movement akin to cinema, the experience of enjoying this house is marked by surprises as it ascends. sunken lounge area connects the two courtyards. Wooden doors on one side slide open to connect the space to a kitchen, while doors on the other side reveal windows to the master bedroom, complete with a private bathroom and a closet. This elevated block features a structural design that creates the concept of a double box. However, going beyond mere aesthetic appeal, the solution enables the concealment of the supporting structure. The main materiality of the house is concrete, complemented by wood, giving it a minimalist language that draws attention to its simple geometric form. A dock area can accommodate a 90-foot-long yacht. Hovering over the elongated 3,820 square meters site in the center, precisely on the axis of Pine Tree Drive overlooking Indian Creek, the residence was designed to maximize views from the social areas to the canal, as no building obstructs the landscape. With two blocks accommodating the entire residential program in 1,115 square meters, the team conceived the volumes to glimpse the Miami Beach skyline in the upper block comprising the social areas, while the lower block provides refuge and tranquility to the intimate areas with views of the internal courtyard. On the facade of the social wing facing the interior of the site, perforated elements designed by Austrian sculptor Erwin Hauer demarcate the surface, filtering light and creating interesting shadow patterns. Inside, wood slats cover the walls and ceiling, providing greater comfort to residents, along with Salos armchairs, sofas, coffee tables, and accessories designed by Jader Almeida.
Studio MK27, based in Brazil and led by Marcio Kogan, is known for its authentic fusion of modernism with the Brazilian regional aesthetic, often expressed through cantilevered horizontal lines, louvred walls, and natural materials. Although not in Brazil, this Miami-based property, called Canal House, captures a similar feeling. On the opposite facade, framing the view, floor-to-ceiling glass doors provide access to the balcony for contemplation. One of the most striking features of this luxurious residence is its own private lagoon, measuring 100 feet in length and 30 feet in width, parallel to an elevated bridge walkway that snakes overhead. Concrete pillars support the snake-like path, and teakwood slats form the outer scales of the bridge. On the ground floor, a TV room, four bedrooms, and the garage occupy a second wing running alongside the lagoon. Externally, this space is camouflaged by wooden slat accordion doors that open to the patio area. The house also features a third volume, providing space for a half-sized basketball court and an entertainment hall for parties or art exhibitions. Mm -hmm. 